good morning. My name is Hope and I'm a Cedaholic. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're not. So today I'm planting potatoes. I'm not chitting them because I waited a little late and I don't have time. So for beginners, this is an easy way to get some potatoes in the ground right now. Go to your local pet food supply, local nursery, and buy yourself bags of potatoes. This is five pounds for 7 dollars so I thought that was a pretty good deal. I got Red Norland, this is red skin outside and white inside, um, like making German potato salad, those are lovely. And this is Kennebec, and this is a large russet potato, good for fries, chips, baking, and mash. I wanted some Yukon Gold, that's our favorite for mash, but they were out of stock. So if I can find some, I'll show you how I plant those in a different video. But let's get started. I got myself a treat for my birthday, which is the 23rd of this month, and this is called a dibber. And what it does for me, who is one-handed and disabled, it pokes a hole for me, and I can drop my seed potato. I want to put these and right in the ground, and I'm, it inserts the hole for me, and I can then make a little hole a little easier. So, this is easy for me, but you want your root on potatoes actually to face up because this is where it'll sprout and the leaves will grow out of the ground for you. Then I'm gonna take the shovel and cover this one back up. And you see there's some sproutlings here. Looks like some radishes self-seeded from last season. And what I'm gonna do right here so I know where I started, um, got them, I put the wrong potato in the wrong spot. But anyways, I'll put the red cannabis on this side. I wanted to put them down there, but I'll put the Red Norlands here, and I'll put the Kennebex down there. But in the meantime, I pre-made my label, and it's got potato, Red Norlands, so I know which variety it is, so I don't get confused. Because they might have the same color flowers for all I know, I'm not sure. But anyways, that's all it takes. You just literally make yourself a hole, maybe for a potato, maybe four or five, maybe six inches deep maybe like a seed, twice the size of what you got, stick your potato in, cover it up, done. I'm not gonna make you watch me do all of those. And Camera Guy has some another tip. You were going to say something? Oh, I thought you had a tip. But anyways, as always, happy gardening and blessings of bounty, and may your gardens and your lives always bring you joy, inspiration, and abundance. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.